Hey everyone, we are going to be looking at the next system to impact the majority of the eastern United States. Before we could get into the forecast, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream on the channel. Right now we are looking at the future radar. As you can see, we have some snow right now going on in portions of the more northwestern U.S. We are going to see that linger throughout today and as we move forward to around late March. So we're getting to uh, March 31st now. So this will be around 12 p.m. We are seeing some severe weather, mainly isolated severe weather over here down in portions of the more southern U.S. By the time it gets around 6 a.m., or between 6 a.m. and 12 p.m. of Wednesday, you will see some severe storms across that type of region. It's not going to be anything major, just some possible severe storms will linger in that type of region for Wednesday and Thursday. Now, as you reach into late Wednesday, now you're seeing those severe storms now reaching into portions of the Dixie Alley regions, so the southeastern regions. So this event is going to happen around Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to see some possible severe storms and uh, thunderstorms within this type of region here. But nothing, like I said, nothing major yet. And now as we reach into now 12 a.m. of Thursday, you're starting to see that very heavy snowfall over here in portions of the north eastern and mid-atlantic u.s we're now going into around 6 a.m of thursday and as you can see we're seeing some definitely widespread snowfall over here in portions of pennsylvania and new york even some snowfall still over here in portions of ohio and west of virginia there we're now reaching in 12 p.m you're still seeing that snowfall over here in pennsylvania ohio and new york and a bunch of rainfall coming down over here in more than northeastern portions of the u.s we're now reaching into a uh, thursday of 6 p.m here and you're still seeing a bit of snowfall not really too much though um uh, as you reach into more of the evening hours of thursday and now you're going into friday here still some snowfall over the region mainly a luck lake effect snowfall will be possible over here in new york but that whole system is pretty much moved out of the region mainly some windy conditions will reach will linger uh throughout friday and the weekend and let's go ahead and look at the total accumulated snowfall uh coming from the system here and as you can see we are seeing upwards of around a foot or more of snowfall in this whole region right here you could see 12 inches or more in that whole region of the pink and reds in that type of area and we're also seeing in the dark blues you're going to see upwards of three to five inches of snowfall and the light blue colors, you're going to see around one to three inches of snowfall. De definitely keep that in mind if you do live in the snowfall areas. You definitely could see some travel issues. So if you are planning to travel uh, between Wednesday and Friday, definitely postpone that as you will see some pretty major snowfall especially in this type of region right there so if you're traveling along any interstates highways along that type of area definitely postpone that uh between wednesday and friday now here's the total precipitation and this is uh including snowfall especially up here in this region so that kind of disclude that region for snowfall um but anyways you're seeing a lot of rainfall uh between this type of region this is the actual rainfall not including snowfall in that whole region right there and even down here you are seeing a bunch of rainfall as well you are seeing upwards of up to four inches of rainfall over here in northern alabama going into tennessee so you may see a lot of flash flood warnings especially just flood warnings flood advisories in this whole region right here throughout later this week and especially early this week, we could definitely see that rainfall hitting um, just around Tuesday or Wednesday around this whole region. You definitely could see that flooding. And in this whole region, this whole swath um, right in here, you may see upwards of two to three inches of rainfall. And that could definitely cause some minor flooding in that region right there, especially rivers and creeks. Those will definitely be overflowing because of this rainfall. So definitely keep that in mind if you do live in this region right here. But that's the total accumulated precipitation. Now, as we look at the 
Storm Prediction Center outlook, we do have a marginal risk for tomorrow on Tuesday. This is a marginal risk for severe storms across Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, and Tennessee. Now, we also do not have a tornado risk with this one. We do not have anything above a 2% risk for tornadoes. For wind risk, we do have a 5% risk for 60 mile per hour wind gusts and up. And we do have a 5% risk for when it shines hail and up in that brown shaded areas. We also do have a marginal risk for severe storms on Wednesday. And this is reaching all the way from Texas and Louisiana, all the way up even into portions of Virginia. So a very long marginal risk there. And this is the probabilistic outlook. And we do have a 5% risk for hail and wind mainly in this whole brown shaded area. I will have an update on the system tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn our post notifications so you won't miss a single upload or live stream like this or any uh, live coverages on, on severe weather that is expected. Uh, severe weather is going to be mainly quiet uh, for the start of April. Once we get closer to April 10th, that is when we could see a definite, definite spike in severe weather. So, so definitely stay tuned uh, for some live coverages coming soon. But if you have anyone living in this system here, especially the snowfall regions, definitely um, share this video to them as this could definitely get that information out to them uh, that you could see some major snowfall and definitely travel impacts possible power outages up here from that snowfall so definitely share that to them but anyways stay safe